建てたのは明治12年今年で140年ぐらい経過してます Traditional houses like the one behind me are known as minka. They're constructed primarily of wood, and you'll still find them all over Japan. Minka are built like interlocking puzzles, typically without nails or screws, allowing craftsmen and architects to disassemble them from the original location and rebuild someplace else. 私はこの25年ぐらいこういう民家の移築再生に全国で30ばかり関わって建ててきましたこの民家は山梨県の笛吹市、まあ、東京から2時間半ぐらい行ったところなんですけども養蚕をしてた農家でそのために屋根になるべく風が入り日の光が入るために一部分屋根をこうこれを突き上げって言いますけどもこういう平らな屋根を突き上げてそれがそこの部分 The Silkworm House now sits in a bustling suburb a 30 minute drive away from central Tokyo Takumi helps preserve heritage architecture which is increasingly at risk as Japan's rural towns become hollowed out by a shrinking population At the same time, he joins a larger global movement with some of the most progressive architects and builders working to decarbonize new construction by reusing old materials. Experts say they're seeing at least 60% emission reductions in terms of embodied carbon when refurbishing over building new. Japan has committed to slashing emissions by 46% from 2013 levels by 2030, but government support to extend the life of minka or reused materials has so far been limited. It's also unclear whether the efforts meaningfully advance the country's climate goals. Still, Takumi believes in preserving Japan's architectural inheritance, noting that many are built of wood that have gone extinct or difficult to source. He says his life's work is to preserve and extend the life of Japan's heritage homes before they get torn down. <laughs>